Hello, you're yeah, welcome to today's episode of Fertility Moments with Gladys and today we're going to consider um, fertility vitamins as the topic we're going to consider today because there are a lot of vitamins out there that we don't know that are essential for fertility and that's what I want to present to you today. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly do well and subscribe so that you don't miss your other episodes of this moments with gladys so now we have um our fertility vitamins number one is antioxidants free radicals are natural byproducts of chemical processes such as metabolism they are highly unstable and are known to cause damages to cells proteins and dna to counter the harmful effects of free radicals the body uses a defense mechanism of antioxidants such as beta carotene Vegetable precursor of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, and selenium. So these antioxidants are basically what keeps you young and actually cleans your body system. So among these important um, um, vitamins that act as of antioxidant, vitamin C is them. You have vitamin E and zinc. These are very important for woman that is trying to conceive you need them so in production they are very very important because a great number of radicals are generated in the process which can interrupt hormonal balance and cause chromosomal damages that leads to miscarriages and birth defects now another reason why you need this um, antioxidants is for instance Vitamin C helps you to actually cleanse your body of the effects of maybe past drugs that you must have taken, birth control pills, and any past um, harmful stuff in the body. High doses of vitamin C can actually help you to cleanse them. Then when we talk about vitamin E, it helps you to it regenerates your cells. Like old cells, you're getting older. You will need some form of vitamin C to keep yourself younger. Likewise, um, zinc. So these antioxidants are very, very important when you are trying to conceive. For vitamin C, at a dose of 750 mg per day or 1000 mg, vitamin C has been shown to raise progesterone in women. You know, progesterone is the um, hormone responsible for getting pregnant in women. So, it has been known to raise progesterone in women with both low progesterone and luteal phase defects, which are associated with the lack of ovulation, infertility, and miscarriages. So, like, if you, some book, a lot of women complain of lack of ovulation, they cannot see their menstruation, and all that. Or some, they can actually get pregnant quite all right, but the pregnancy, they will lose it after some time. Due to miscarriage. So these people they need to increase the level of progesterone in their bodies. So a study shows that women taking the drug clomiphene to stimulate ovulation will have a better chance of ovulating if vitamin C is taken alongside the drug. So vitamin C is very very important at high doses in order to help to actually balance your hormones, especially this progesterone hormone. Then vitamin E, a study conducted at John Hopkins University showed that vitamin E at a dose of 800 IU per day for 10 weeks corrects the progesterone stroke estrogen ratio, increases a woman's libido and normalizes her menstrual cycle. A lot of women that actually don't, uh, uh, they don't, they have very low libido and they don't really feel like, um, having sex most of the time so you will need vitamin e in order to correct all those stuffs and to renew your body system and uh, to normalize your menstrual cycle so vitamin e is very very important now we'll talk about zinc zinc contributes to ovulation and fertility in women and semen even in men it contributes to semen and test to testosterone production 
in men according to the American Pregnancy Association. And low levels of zinc have been directly linked to miscarriages in the early stages of a pregnancy by the Center for Disease Control and Cell Reproductive Technology. So zinc is very, very important for a woman that is trying to conceive. And um, it's very important that you supplement your zinc in order to be sure that um, you have zinc in the real, in the actual um, quantity that your body needs. You can get zinc from foods, but then sometimes it's necessary to supplement because the foods we eat these days, we don't really know whether the nutrients have um, are still there or not. So it's better that you supplement most of these vitamins if you want to get pregnant naturally. Another vitamin is um, B vitamins and iron. You know, vitamin B complex among its many important roles, it's essential to the healthy functioning of blood. When the body is efficient of various B vitamins due to its imbalanced diet or poor absorption of uh, as a result of certain health conditions, the production and function of blood will be compromised. Without an adequate supply of clean nutrient rich blood, our body will not perform at its optimal level. This includes our reproductive organs such as ovaries and the uterus. For example, iron, folic acid and vitamin B12. Low, low levels of iron, folic acid and vitamin B12 are associated with anemia which can cause an ovulation. That is no ovulation. So it's good that we supplement our B vitamins if we must get pregnant. Vitamin B6 is proven to increase progesterone production and reduce blood estrogen levels, leading to an improvement in BMS symptoms as well as fertility. It's considered one of the best vitamins to boost progesterone. Okay, So in if you buy vitamin B complex, it actually contains this vita vitamin B6 along with other variants of uh, the B vitamin. So the buying vitamin B complex alone can actually help you to achieve all this and it will help you to normalize your hormones, balance your hormones and boost your progesterone production. Okay. Then we know this vitamin D is another very, very important um, vitamin that we need for a healthy pregnancy or for us to even conceive normally. You know that vitamin D is essential for bone health because it helps the body absorb calcium. But many are unaware of its role in fertility. In fact, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to infertility. One study at Hill University School of Medicine found that almost 40% of women with ovulatory dysfunction had low vitamin D levels. Okay, so vitamin D can actually be gotten from your diet. You can get it from eggs and from other sources in your diet. From milk, you can get your vitamin D. But then, it's mostly gotten from the one that is very essential for you to get pregnant. It's called vitamin D3, which can be gotten from the sun. Okay, so it's good that you should try at least once in a day enter the sun if you must get pregnant but i don't mean the very hot scorching sun in africa i mean the early morning kind of sun the one that if you're in nigeria the kind of sun that comes out around between 9 and 10 a.m is very good for you so try your best come out once in a while and get some vitamin d um, from meat because your body can actually manufacture its own vitamin D when you expose it to the sun. So the next one is essential fatty and amino acids. Now we've come to the last nutrient group, essential fatty acids and amino acids. They are called essential because our bodies cannot make them and we must get them through foods. Among them, omega-3 and L-arginine are especially beneficial for fertility. Omega-3 fatty acids are known for their anti-inflammatory properties, which is important when you want to get and stay pregnant. They also support fertility, helping to regulate hormones, increase cervical mucus, 
promote ovulation and direct blood flow to the ovaries and uterus. Okay. L arginine is an amino acid that helps when well, that helps widen and relax arteries and blood vessels, increasing blood flow in the body at a dose of six grams per day. It's been shown to improve the blood supply to the corpus luteum, that's the egg follicle, by using progesterone after ovulation, which results in improved progesterone levels and overall hormone harmony. The above are the five most important nutrients groups to promote ovulation, enhance fertility, and harmonize hormones. And there are others whose effects we do not yet know. So we keep our hormones balanced. We need to eat eat rich diet that contains all the essential nutrients that the body needs. So this is all we have for today. So until next time, I'll see you next on Fertility Moments with Gladys. Stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.